Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a 60 amp non fusible AC disconnect on a 120 volt 20 amp mini split system. Let's get to it. Okay, disclaimer I am not an electrician. Although I have installed many di AC disconnects, I am still not a licensed electrician. I will show you the way I do it and to pass code in my area. The rest is up to you. If you take on this mission, do so at your own risk. Okay, on the mini split condenser outside, you're looking at the black is a line, that's a hot. Now you got neutral, which is white, that is just neutral. Now the green is the uh, ground. Now on the AC disconnect here, it's a Halix 60 amp non-fusible metallic AC disconnect model HNF60R. So we're going to go ahead and get this lined out. As you can see, it's it's really kind of simple. I just said I know nobody wants to do it, <laughs> so they don't fry themselves. But this is the way I do it, like I said. And you want to go ahead, I start with the ground first. And I do the wiring coming from a 20 amp circuit, and that's where these wires are from. So this, uh, those wires there go back into the actual panel, the main panel, at a 20 amp. Then we go ahead and hook up the black, which is the hot. Always remember that black is hot on a 120. Let's go ahead and get that. Make sure you do snug them down well. Okay, let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Now we're going to go ahead and get the neutral done. Now you can do it two ways uh, with a box like this. You could actually just, you know, do a wire nut on the whites. You know, for I like doing it this way because it just disconnects everything. So we're going to go ahead and put it on this one. Now you got to remember, line is hot. So when you have a black wire, it's going into the line section. It should, it'll say line right on it. Then the next one is going to be line white neutral. Then you have your copper ground or green ground. Now this is a wiring coming from the actual outside unit that is in a what they call a liquid line a whip so you want to go ahead and get that set up i actually used the wire that they gave it you know to wire it up with and just pushed it through the line i have links in the description for all that okay what you want to go ahead and do here is you want to get that tight enough uh, use a pair of pliers uh, a lot of people will use a uh, screwdriver and bang it, but I would suggest pliers because it has a rubber grommet on the outside that you want to get to about a 50% smish. So a smish is squeezing it together. That way it won't leak. It is tight. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, other stuff going. But hey, if you would, do me a favor and subscribe. Give me that like and hit that bell notification. I sure would appreciate that. Helps the channel also. It doesn't cost you anything. We're going to go ahead and, like I said, I always start with the ground. And only reason I do that is in case sometimes, I always check to make sure <laughs> the wires are not hot when I'm working on them. But if somebody messes up and happens to turn something on, uh, I'd rather go through a ground uh, shock instead of a uh, full shock to you to the ground. So, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get this tightened up. We'll uh, get uh, everything hooked up here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, you got to remember an AC disconnect is really, it, <laughs> it just connects the wires when it's plugged in. That's all it's doing. Now, like I said, with the 120, it's it's so simple. You just... Use white on one side, black on the other. It really doesn't matter which one it hits, but I like doing the incoming line and so forth. Now 
So we'll go ahead and get this last one done. And make sure they are seated up in there and that you're not clamping down on the actual jacket, uh, the coating of the wire. There you go. So, like I said, all it's doing is connecting with this item here. So, this is uh, the actual connection to it. And then you have the off and you have the on. So, like that is off, turn it over, and you're going to plug it into the actual thing so it makes the connection between the two white wires and the two black wires. That simple. Let's go and get the cover on. Get it put back in into the on position. And you're pretty much all set. Let's go ahead and uh, check everything. This here is the way I did it inside here is use this uh, sweep here to get out. You want to go ahead and run your wires through that. And go ahead and make sure you tighten this down too because it does have a grommet also. And this is actually the finished work. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. I appreciate it.